since the introduction of cancel culture, there have been several celebrities who are ostracized from the society by fans, and this has been happening even in the industry. The producers and creators of television shows can sometimes see that you are unredeemable from your mistakes and cancel you from the industry, but some are cancelled for standing up for the truth, which is unfair. In this video, we'll look at why 10 celebs were allegedly cancelled from the industry. Number 1. Bumelelo Bulose the first celebrity who was allegedly cancelled from the industry is Mpumelelo Bulose. Bulose appeared in Uzalo as Muzi Tulu, in Imbeu the Seed as in Melabengu, and in Chisa as Postole. But it looks like Mpumelelo did the unforgivable to the producers wherever he acted. The actor allegedly disrespected and undermined the creators and directors of most of the dramas he acted on. This includes when he resigned from Muzalo in 2016 after disrespecting his producers, but the allegations were not clear. In 2018, Buloso was fired from Mbeu after disrespecting the producers by not following the script and for coming to work whenever he felt like. So after his Mbeu exit, Buloso never appeared on any other TV show in South Africa. This means he was probably cancelled by the acting industry because of bad and disrespectful behavior. Number 2. Oscar Pistorius Paralympian Oscar Pistorius was also ostracized from Paralympics where he was an amputee sprinter for South Africa. This occurred after he was in prison for about 10 years for allegedly killing his girlfriend River Steenkamp. So when he was released from prison, he was not allowed to come back to the athletics and will be banned until at least 2029. According to the International Paralympic Committee rules, athletes sent to prison are ineligible to take part in any competition if their sentence has not yet expired, including under parole release. So his suspension is not forever, but until his parole is over. Number 3. Vinolia Mashio You said something, Masila Payane. You talked about quiet Uguti. Quiet wasn't necessarily your style. Why did you decide to change Uguile? But that's the quiet shame. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't be in I would be in. I could be my own Another actor was shunned and ostracized forever, that is until her death was Vinolia Mashio. The late actress was known for presenting the 90s musical program Jam Alien for appearing in Movango and Insibaya died poor and away from the industry. According to reports, Vinolia lost the fame when she started showing an unruly behavior and was shunned by the industry. She was seen walking naked and incoherent in the streets and the story went viral. This tainted her image so badly that she completely disappeared from the industry. She later tried to come back but it was too late. She was cut off already. After this, she spent the rest of her life in poverty, stealing from her neighbors which worsened her already damaged reputation. So there was no coming back from that. Number 4. Rami Chwini Actress Rami Chwini was also cut off by the entertainment industry after speaking out about exploitation in the industry. By the time she spoke out, she was working for the Ferguson films on The Queen. This made the Fergusons angry and they exit her from the show. After that, she got new jobs from other dramas, but according to other reports, most of the producers started hating working with her. I guess they didn't like the fact that she would expose them too, so they cancelled her and no longer wanted to work with her. Number 5. Vati Swandara Another actress who was cut off and ostracized in the entertainment industry like Rami Chweni is Vati Swandara. According to reports, Vati Swandara spoke about the exploitation in the entertainment industry. She even wrote a letter to the Minister of Arts and Culture, Natim Tedro, exposing the Ferguson film's exploitation tactics in her contract for Igazi season 3. She then emphasized that people in sports are respected and highly prized, but it's not so with the arts industry. With this, and unfortunately, I, it, I had to make an example with the contract that was going to be offered to me by Ferguson Films. And, and it's not about them. It is me making an example of what is happening in the industry. You know, I was just saying, the system is like this. This is what we're going through. Here's an example, you know. So um, it, it just took that for me to say, you know what, we do need some intervention. Hence, I had to write to, um, to the minister. After this, Vatiso never wanted to return to acting and said she can't return unless the conditions had changed. The sad reality is even if Vatiso tried to come back, the chances of her getting a job are slim since she ruined her relationship with drama creators by speaking out. I 
I, I fully understand. I mean, these are things that some producers will even say to you that you will never work in this industry again. And you, you, we're so used to these threats now. It doesn't matter. Whether I'm working or not, it makes no difference um, because I'm unable to make a living when I'm working. I'm unable to, to pay for my daily things. So whether I'm blacklisted or not, I'm blacklisted whilst I'm still working. Number six, Jubjub. Hip-hop artist Jubjub, popularly known for songs such as Pindu Kulume and Dikokela, was also cut off from the industry in a subtle manner after serving a prison sentence. Before prison, the rapper was known for being a hip-hop artist, but when he came back, he couldn't revive his career and had to turn into a television host. This is because fans had cancelled him, so his music couldn't make similar waves as before. I would be associated with such harsh, um, false, damning allegations. I mean, we live in a society where I was more worried about my self-worth, you know? When that came upon, I just left everything to God. Number seven, Briggs. Another rapper who is likely gonna experience a subtle cutoff by fans is Briggs. He was known for being a hip hop star, but now he's serving a prison sentence for forcing himself on a minor. So by speculation, Briggs is going to be cut off and ostracized by his fans and producers. He will obviously try to revive his career, but it might not go far. He will need to try reality shows or hosting television shows like Jube Jube. Number eight, DJ Donald Sivolai. Another person serving a jail sentence and will not recover simple is Donald Sibolai. He was the Josie FM DJ before he was given a 20-year sentence after murdering his girlfriend Flavia Rachel. He will come back to his normal life if he qualifies for parole after 2026. But the question is, is the public going to accept him? Honestly, the chances of succeeding in any entertainment industry after committing murder are slim. He's likely going to be cut off from the industry. He will have to find a job or start a business. Number 9. Nontle Tema. Another actress who was cut off from the industry is Nontle Tema. At first, her career blossomed and she even got a contract with Dark and Lovely worth 10 million rands. After that, Nontle felt that she had made it in the industry and started telling everyone, including her followers, where to get off. As a result, her followers started to unfollow her and she was left with few hundred followers. So when Dark and Lovely noticed her unruly behavior, they fired her. She later got another job on Gomorrah, but it was too late for her to be taken back by Dark and Lovely. Um, I lost sense of who God was in my life. Because now I found myself fighting people. It was for respect. I and wanted, you thought that was the only way to get it? I thought this was the only way that I could get this respect because I needed to step up and, and, and have people fear me. It was as if like I could not even put my phone down. The ego was running right. with me. It was like, if I get a tweet that is negative, I'm going to tell that person how I feel. You would think she learned from her mistake, but she didn't. Because after being hired by several productions without auditioning, she started bragging about being too talented to audition. This shows she is not changed yet. Number 10, Zoim Tiani. The last celebrity to be cancelled and cut off from the entertainment industry is Zoim Tiani. She is known for playing Zita on the SABC One drama series Generations. When she was on Generations The Legacy, she played Estao Mohale's girlfriend and the two were both single. So Rapulani C. Pimo playing Dao and Zoe ended up developing feelings for each other and started dating in real life. Unfortunately for Zoe, his co-worker turned boyfriend started to cheat on her with another colleague and Zoe was heartbroken. She started coming to work drunk and disrupted work which led to a dismissal. Before her dismissal, Zoe claims that she was bullied by Rapulana's girlfriend and she was no longer focusing. So after her dismissal, Generations creator Fundi Wunder sent her to therapy to recover, but it was too late for her to return to Generations The Legacy. This destroyed her reputation as an actor and she has not yet well recovered from it. But she deserves a second chance and we hope to see her again. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for future content. You can watch this video of 15 actors we shall never see again in Mzanzi. Thank you for watching.